Good afternoon on this uh, episode of my vlog. I'm going to talk about that thing hanging on the mango uh, branch, mango tree branch. That's a beehive. That's the closest uh, zoom I can uh, manage with this uh, phone camera. So, um, so it's been, um, it's been there since I arrived, uh, last Saturday. Um, I didn't notice it immediately, but, um, I think it, it started the hive when I arrived. So today is Wednesday. So it's now how many days? Five Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. So it's been five days, and I noticed it on the second or third day, and it it already is that size when I when I started noticing it. But um, I was more uh, curious about it actually, and I continued it with my you know uh, installing the hammock there even um, lying on the hammock even though you know it could sense the vibration from from the hammock and my presence there but I was never attacked and so I uh, looked it up on the internet and it says that you know bees are a symbol of fertility of, of good luck of, uh, of um, prosperity of industry you know all good qualities from ancient times so I was kind of like uh, acting around that um, information which is uh, you know not to look at them as a threat but rather um, something that's um, that's welcome so I mentioned this to Philip and even Philip <laughs> Um, scolded me because uh, so on the day that I noticed uh, in the evening they came into the kitchen and started buzzing around the lights and it really became annoying because it was just so much buzzing um, flying around but they never bit me and then when I, I moved to the main house to get ready for, for uh, sleeping they also followed me so they are attracted by the lights and I was just so annoyed that you know I started like waving waving my hand and I hit one and it, and obviously I killed it because it it fell to the floor so at that point I was still debating whether is it really a bee or are they bees or are they wasps but I have since um, a certain that they are definitely bees so they are not wasps they are not uh, anything else so um, so that's actually a wild natural beehive that I have there which is you know um, a blessing I consider it a blessing because in in other places in other countries you know you talk of beekeeping you want to attract bees into your garden you know like in the uk all they talk about is um um attracting wildlife creating a garden that is friendly to wildlife um they want to attract um butterflies bees because they are pollinators you know frogs these are natural uh predators you know for controlling um you know insects so similar to the bees they are desirable desirable uh, insects to have around plus the fact that of course they they make honey so i did i did consider that the fact that they have chosen to to make their nest in my house meaning they find uh this place peaceful and they find 
this place like uh, a pl um, home you know somewhere they cannot be disturbed and so I have become almost like uh, a guardian to them and even though since that the first day that I noticed them even though they come to the house they are attracted to the lights um, it's okay I said I, I can manage with it and everybody who comes to the house even the workers my parents everybody are horrified at the presence of of that hive over there and I keep on telling them no let just leave leave it alone you know even my housekeeper is kind of like no I, I don't want to be working closely here you know near those things they're gonna bite me they're gonna attack me and I said they, no they don't attack or um no they should be okay and everybody says no you have to drive them away you have to um smoke them away uh how do you call it uh, make a bonfire to um to drive them away so i said no i think i promise that i will not have a hand whatsoever um to get them out of of my property and for as long as i am here that they will remain and that I would leave it as is and would leave it to whoever is left here to um, to deal with it, to drive them. Because I do think that once they are done with their business, that they will just go somewhere or uh, at best, you know. But I think it's too early. By the time I, I leave back for Saudi Arabia, I don't think it's ready for collecting. I mean, any honey is ready for collecting anyway. So... I just didn't want to deal with it at the moment actually um, so uh, every time someone says oh, oh my goodness there is a beehive oh you have to remove it you know I just like dismiss it but today uh, on the fifth day um, I have been under increasing pressure more so because we were walking toward my parents house to um, to have lunch there with the with my th three uh, roof installers and the uh, the owner of the store across the street called me and I was wondering why and and she said there is a beehive and uh, what you need to do is you know you do this you make you smoke them you make a bonfire to smoke them to drive them away and i said yeah yeah i know but you know I, i'd like to keep them well i didn't realize that the bees traveled to the houses across the street and you know she's she has this store um vegetable and fruits store across and customers are afraid customers are terrified at the presence of the bees and the children as well and even the three the three workers are are wary of them you know the stories passed around by my parents maid saying her husband was also attacked by bees one time when he went uh, shooting for wild pigs in the forest so i said if it isn't threatened it really should shouldn't bother you in in any way and um how do you call it and yeah for sure at night they are attracted to the lights but for as long as they they aren't threatened but yeah but then there there's the business across the street there is the um how do you call it there is the uh the, the children you know who are afraid of it so I don't know folks, uh, I have a some kind of a moral dilemma as to to what to do with it. See, it's so beautiful though. This is my house, roofing project going on, and I'm seated here looking at the beehive and one of the workers, one of the workers joked at me to say, talk to them, tell them not to... Um, venture out into the neighbors uh neighbors uh, houses and keep keep themselves to you know to around the property um i will try i hope they're listening to me now 
but um i think sooner than i i uh, honestly want to sooner i will have to do something because now i look like i'm the bad bad guy here because i'm harboring bees in my property and that's the sad i think reality in in this part of of um the world you know when when bees are seen as a, a threat you know snakes you know the wildlife and they just don't realize that uh, somewhere else in the world they are uh, protected they are welcome they are you know uh, encouraged so yeah i think more ed more educating though but um i really don't know i don't know um one of the workers suggested that to smoke them i can use the um i can use the you know the uh, the old roofing material because th that would create um enough smoke but I have been actually also prevented from making any bonfires because um, because of the rain. Like it rains in late afternoon for for pretty much the the five days that I have I've been in Carascal. So um, I was telling them at lunch. I said no. I I really don't want to have any hand whatsoever in starting the starting the bonfire starting the bonfire so I don't know bees can you please help me or if you are listening can you just go away by yourselves please because um, if I s started to smoke to, to make a bonfire you know they might attack me and uh, I like to say that they are my friends they the bees and and I are friends and so I won't do uh, anything to harm them um, so that's it see the hammock is here we're okay we're really okay together it's just that yeah people around me are putting a lot of pressure on me to do something yeah there oh yeah there you go yes it's, uh, the maximum um zoom of my video camera So, tell me, dear friends, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm in a dilemma here.